Hey there everyone, welcome to the series automating the pouring stuff in ANSYS Mechanical. In today's video, we will be looking at solution and their results and see how to get various objects or the properties within it. So let's go to analysis. So let me capture the first analysis. I can just put a0 is equal to model dot analysis and my first index. So I have this a0 and uh, we have already seen our in our previous video we have added this fixed support structural support and the structural load and assigned some loads into it and you will see the model is ready for solving so i will just pass uh, a0 dot solve as you see it says uh, uh, solve it does not return anything and it also takes a parameter bool weight true or false if it is true then it will wait for any previous analysis which is already in progress or else it will just uh, uh, proceed to solve so if i press a0 solve you, you will see the an analysis is getting solved and once it is done we will capture the uh, solution okay so it will be solution is equal to a0 dot solution so you will see to know whether the solution has been solved or not we can get the state of it it will be uh, solve dot status it will uh, it will say that it is done okay and then uh, in under solution okay so let's see if solution is not activated you can just pass solution dot activate so it will get activated or under tree dot activate and pass the uh, object of it so it is solve solution so it's the same thing so if i am here you can go from the object or you can go from the tree now under solution you see some refinement loops and refinement depth maybe if you are using it you can just pass sol dot refinement depth you will see it's an integer so it says get a set integer so it's right now two and one more is refinement loop right so maximum refinement loop it is also an integer one so you can change it now under solution we have to go into solution information so let's see it will be what it is it is solution information okay so let me assign it to a variable called sol info uh, under and if you want to activate it will be tree dot activate sol info so once we are in solver in info you will see that we have this uh, result output so we have already seen how to uh, send this output or access this file in file browser i have showed it while sending email uh, from ansys video and then you can also change the solution output of it so it will be sol info dot solution output so right now it is solver output and if you see what are the various for example i have force convergence uh, or displacement convergence since this is a linear uh, analysis so you won't see force convergence plot it is you see this is not refresh so i can just pass tree dot refresh and see it will say that no data to display but if there is four convergence maybe you can capture the image or say, say this uh, convergence plot or the uh, displacement convergence plot but you see it's not available so what else we have solutions solver output we have seen it's a file we can it's a solved out, out file we can take now solution characteristic you can take you can save this as an image and then we have solution history this one uh, also you can capture it as an image and i will show you how to capture the screenshot later so there is nothing we need to do now and what else we have we have some newton wraps and residuals maybe a lot of people might not be using so if you just want to use you will see it's a mm, get a set integer so zero it's there or maybe you can pass other values in it so there is not much we use it here so what we can do is we can just go to solution and act, uh, add some results okay so it will be solve dot add maybe total deformation right so i will just uh, not total acceleration but deformation so i will store this deformation as def okay def is a um, uh, result keyword so let's not use that so i will just pass td so we have this total deformation let's get the result of it so it must be something like let's see what is the property name right click retrieve this result right so 
or I can just pass result. So you have uh, evaluate all results. Okay. So if I press this, I will get the result. You can also export this image or add an image to it. So it will be td dot add image. But disadvantage of uh, this one is you see it will just add this image and let's see if we can make use of it add image so i have this test folder which is d test okay so let me pass this and see if you can save it d test dot td1 okay let's see if it has saved or not so this is not working we will try to export in a different way okay so no need to worry so this is currently not working but td dot add image it's not returning add image okay maybe i i am missing something so it should be tree dot refresh to see if it has added the image or not yes it has added image i was running three times but i don't see it getting saved so that's one disadvantage i don't know why let's see if we can do something no it's not saving so it is adding image but it's not saving in the folder but we will check that later okay i have this yes, i will be having a separate video how to export this uh, geometry graphics graph tableau data worksheets okay so let's not get get into that now so coming to this total deformation you see it is assigned to all the bodies because it's already generated but if it is not generated then you can assign some bodies or face or line to it okay so by default uh, td dot location should be like should be nil so all bodies are already assigned to it okay so maybe you can assign some faces to it and then td dot type you may have x y and z or directional deformation so it will be td dot type deformation type so you will see it's total or you can just assign it the enum name is total or directional dot directional if you make it directional it will show x y and z similarly you can assign you want to get it on time or steps or the yeah uh, or load step what is the maximum over the load step if you have multiple load step that way you can change it so it will be td dot by you will see it is time and if you want to see the uh, properties in it you will see maximum over time or result set and then under result set you can pass the number one or two or whatever the uh, time step you have so i think this is pretty much on the result and there is not much you can do here yes in result uh, let me show you how to export the tabular data in a text file or maybe a csv file also so it will be a result not result we have td right so it will be td dot evaluate all results so once i have this uh, all the results in td right now it is x direction so you will see this tabular data right so on on right click you have some export to text file so similarly you can do td dot it will not come it's maybe it's hidden to text file and then you can pass the path so i already had that path test slash my td one dot txt rd is not defined it's actually td so let's see if it is generated or not td is there and if i open this file you will see all these results you can also save it as a csv file this is tab separated so i don't know whether you have to work on it or not but there is also one more way i'll show you so let's see if i run csv what it does so csv is separated but i don't know whether it it will be able to read the tab okay it's not reading the tab it's concatenating both so this will not work but there is one more way so what is that it's plot data so td dot plot data you see uh, it's like a pandas you have this uh, all the index node and values so so to access node it will be uh, 
node td dot plot data of index name is node so you see you will get all the index sorry this node is actually for uh, the nodes mesh nodes so for each node it is giving the values so this is not the tabular data so what we can do is uh, we can export to a file read that file and whenever there is a tab we can just uh, add a comma and save it as a csv file that also you can do and i think there is nothing uh, we can insert some um, it's the same thing deformation suppress delete so i think that's all for this video in next video we will see how to export various uh, panes for example geometry graph tabular data or the worksheet and see you soon in next video